What's up, YouTube? This is a video to show you guys how to wirelessly tether your Android device. Um, this is a free, easy root method that you have to do. Be aware, though, that you have to restore your phone in order to get it back to normal. But then again, like I said, it's a minor root. First thing you need to do, though, is we go to Menu, Settings, and then from there we're going to go to applications and we're going to check unknown sources. I already have mine checked, just make sure you have yours checked there. And um, secondly, we're going to go to this website right here. It's called unrevoked.com and from there you'll select your device. Uh, in this instance, I have got an HTC Evo. So we're going to go ahead and click that real quick and right here it's going to give you an option to go ahead and pick whether you want unrevoked three or unrevoked forever. The difference is unrevoked you can restore your phone and it'll be back to normal. Unrevoked forever will unfortunately just keep it rooted for forever. So we're going to go ahead and hit unrevoked. Here we come up to the screen. It says we want to do a painless root and flash and it gives the option to download for Windows, Linux, or Mac OS depending on what you have. In this instance we're going to go ahead and click download for Windows. Just give it a sec here. No keys. Push. Oh, obviously, down over here, it wants me to say this type of file can harm my computer. Down at the bottom, we didn't see that there. Let's go ahead and hit save. We'll discard that. And right here, we've got the refresh package. Right here, we're going to go ahead and hit run on this. Let's do that real quick. And it'll start working on that. Let's go to our download section. Oh, never mind, here it is. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and plug your phone in, and also you got to make sure USB debugging is enabled on your phone. I'm going to show you how to do that here. We'll go ahead and uh, go to menu settings, applications, development, and we're going to go ahead and click USB debugging. It's going to tell you, do you want to allow it? We're going to go ahead and hit OK. We'll then connect our device to a computer via USB. Let's go ahead and move this over here. And we'll go ahead and connect it through. You just follow the prompts, go ahead and say OK at that point. It's going to go ahead and um, restart your phone a couple times. I've already done mine, so I won't go ahead and do that. But it's like I said, it's really easy. Once you plug it in, it'll automatically detect it. So once it's done with that, your phone will reboot a couple times. Um, it's going to go to a screen. Don't freak out. It's going to go to a black screen. Use the side buttons right here on the side of your phone to go ahead and control the commands once it's done getting rooted. Uh, once it's rooted, it'll go ahead and restart. You'll get a program on your phone called Super Controller. And I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like here. Let's go. Keep going. Here it is right here. Super User Permissions. It's really nothing. You don't really have to worry about it. But um, once your phone's restarted, it'll, def it'll install that out there. Then, the next thing we'll do is we're going to go ahead and I'll leave a link in the description of this video here. We're going to go to uh, code.google.com slash p slash android wifi tether slash download slash list. When we go to this website, the first thing we're going to go to, um, depending on what device you have, right here you can see a description of what devices the app will support. In this instance, um, like I said earlier, I've got an Evo and 
there it is right there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to download the wireless tether 2.0 APK. Do this from your phone. Do not do this from your computer. Open this up and it will install automatically. Once you do that, it will show up. Oh, let's see. oh, there it is. Once you do that, it will show up right there, wireless tether. Once you download it from your phone, it's just like a marketplace. Also, don't forget to go ahead and go to, this is something I probably should have showed you guys earlier. Go to applications. Um, oh, never mind, we did do this. Remember, always allow unknown sources. So we can go ahead and get that. Once you do that, we'll have this wireless tether thing set up here. And that's pretty much it. No major anything, really. Go ahead and press it to start tethering. And super user request will pop up. And you're going to go ahead and hit allow. Wireless tether has been granted super user permissions. So there you go. There you guys have it. I have now got tethering with using easy route on my phone very simple any questions just leave leave them in the little forum below all right guys have a good one